Tonight we look at the pursuit of higher education overseas, in particular graduate school. It's an appealing choice amid shaky economies and competitive job markets. Some, including students in China, see an advanced degree abroad as a path to a more solid future. The U.S. remains a top, but now that pattern is changing slightly. CCTV's Jim Spellman reports. For years, Chinese students like Wen Yi Lua have come to the U.S. for graduate school. I always regard U.S. as like the best or top higher education system, so that's the reason why I wanted to experience it. She's studying international relations and communications at Boston University in the U.S. state of Massachusetts. Her mother encouraged her to go overseas. She wanted me to experience something different from our Chinese version education system. According to the Council of Graduate Schools, Wen Yi Lua is part of a huge wave of Chinese students who have come to the U.S. to attend universities offering advanced programs. Chinese students make up about a third of graduate stu students studying in the United States, international graduate students. And so that's a really large number. But the trend may be changing. In recent years, the number of Chinese students applying to U.S. grad schools has gone down slightly, but India has gone up. Wen Yi Lua says a third of her friends have chosen to stay in China for grad school. The Chinese government has made a lot of investments in graduate education over the past few years, um, especially in professional graduate um, programs. And so that may be um, increasing the um, incentive for Chinese graduate students to stay at home rather than going abroad. Grad schools in the U.S. have sought to attract top international students to bring diversity as well as academic excellence to their programs. The students get to experience a different educational system while forming lifelong bonds. The people who are, are their fellow students in graduate school become their future business partners or uh, research collaborators down the road. For Wen Yi Lua, those connections and experiences will help her as she works towards a career in the nonprofit sector. She's already interning at a Washington think tank. I expose myself to diverse culture and I feel that I can, I'm prepared for like going anywhere I wanted to go. And that's what I'm planning to do. She hasn't decided where she will go after graduation, but come rain or shine, she hopes her education that began in China and has taken her to the U.S. will serve her well wherever she goes. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.